Hello, uh, welcome to the next video of our EC573 AELD lab. In the previous video, we discussed about the C code and I forgot to show you the corresponding uh, .h file. So the .h file is very simple where we are defining the FFT size, the corresponding stages of the FFT uh, here. Then uh, we are uh, defining the uh, few data type, which you can define it or you can use it as per your own requirement. And the thing is uh, the weights are already stored here. So you can see that the, all the weights are already stored here. So this you can, can export from the Python or MATLAB and then you can store it in your .h file, okay? Uh, again, this code is written by my student, uh, Saeed, PhD student Saeed. So uh, he has taken care that all the uh, weights are correctly uh, exported to the .h file. So now uh, to execute this code, again, you can see that uh, I'm using the local hardware. So I have connected it to my uh, laptop. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to do the run as and I'm going to do the run as launch on hardware. So this is my uh, code. And if you see the screen here, uh, the code gets executed, but you don't see anything on this. And we will see this, why this issue happen in more detail later while using the debugging. But the main issue in this uh, uh, case is the, uh, the sufficient space. Now in any, uh, code, you have the heap space as when you do the large size array, because here I'm using the 50 size of 1024. So I'm using the large size arrays. So whenever you are using the large size arrays, then there is always a uh, challenge with the uh, space available in the processor or your stacks and the heap size. So if you want to update those stack and heap size, what you should do, you should go to the uh, link uh, lscript.ld. This is the linker uh, script file. And then see that you can increase the uh, uh, heap size. So let's see that I'm increasing the heap size. Uh, then I'm saving the file. Okay, so I have saved the file. And now I'll try to execute the code again and uh, we'll see if it works or not. So if I do the launch on hardware, so the code is being deployed and you can see that I'm getting all the outputs on the screen. And at the end, I get the execution time, which is this much uh, microsecond, okay? So you need to take care that whenever you are doing the memory allocation, you have the sufficient memory in the stack and heap. otherwise your code may not work or sometimes code gets corrupted. Okay, so uh, we can quickly check the, uh, the optimization setting and see if there is an effect on the uh, execution time. So we'll go to the C, C++ configuration setting. So let's do the O3. So around 1000 microsecond is the original execution time. And after we do the optimization, the execution time is, okay, it is 300. So almost one third execution, we got the time execution time as one third. So this is how you can use the optimization in the SDK to speed up your code. But at the same time, you need to verify the functionality that I leave it to you, how you verify the functionality. 